behind me is the Miyagao Church located in the town of Miyagao in Iloilo. The Church of St. Thomas of Villanueva of Miyagao Parish in Iloilo Province is one of the four Baroque churches of the Philippines. Inscribed by UNESCO as a World Cultural Heritage Site in 1993. Before Miyagao became a town in its own right in 1731, it was a visita of neighboring parishes with no church or parish priest of its own. The church was designed as a fortress where the townsfolk can take refuge and repel Moro marauders. Before this church was built on a more secure location, Moro raiders from sultanates in Mindanao and Sulu had pillaged and raised its predecessors in 1741 and 1754. Because of its vulnerability to raids, the Gustinians transferred the town up a hill called Takas. From there, a new church was constructed in 1787 under the supervision of Rey Francisco Gonzalez, parish priest and Spanish governor de Rosilio Domingo Liboon. Undertaking this massive construction project stretched the small town's resources to its limits. To build the church, townsfolk were conscripted to render forced labor, a form of taxation in kind of public works at the time when the church and the state were one. People who had means contributed monies to defray the wages of skilled artisans or commissioned the artwork installed within the church premises. Building a fortress church to safeguard life on earth was motivation enough to lighten the townsfolk's burden. The facade of the Miyagao church consists of ornately decorated bas relief in the middle of the two huge watchtowers belfries on each side. A mixed influence of medieval Spanish, Chinese, Muslim, and local traditions and elements, a unique characteristic of the facade. Prominent part of it is a coconut tree depicted as the tree of life where Saint Christopher holds on. The saint is dressed in local and traditional clothing carrying the child Jesus on his back. The rest of the facade features the daily life of the people of Miyagao during that time including native flora like papaya, coconut, and palm tree. Above the wooden door entrance at the center of the facade is a carved image of the town's patron saint. St. Thomas of Villanueva. At each side of the door is the images of St. Henry of Bavaria and Pope Pius VI. Above the image of the saints are their respective coat of arms. The two huge unequal bell towers directly attached to the main church serve as watchtowers to defend the town against invasion of Moros. It has two different designs since it was commissioned by two different priests. On the left side is the older belfry, the tallest west belfry with four levels. On the right side is the east belfry which was originally constructed with only two levels. It was in 1830 when Father Francisco Perez decided to add another story to the East Belfry. Inside is a sanctuary of the church, composed of an altar, tabernacle, retablo, and shrines on both sides. The retablo is a gold-plated and consists of a crucifix in the center, a statue of St. Joseph on the left, a statue of St. Thomas on the right, and a statue of the Santo Nino on top. The shrine on the left of the altar houses the Sacred Heart of Jesus, while the shrine on the right of the altar houses the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The church's overall architectural style falls under the Baroque Romanesque architecture. 
Its ochre color is due to the materials used in constructing the church, adobe, egg, coral, and limestone. The structure was completed in 1797. Stones were quarried from San Joaquin and Igbaras. In 1864, Friar Agustin Escudero restored the church. In 1880, Friar Jose Sacristan decorated the interior of the church. The church was severely damaged during the Philippine Revolution in 1898 but was later rebuilt. But early in the 20th century, the church was burned during the Philippine-American War. The church was also used as headquarters and barracks during World War II, where the interior of the church was greatly damaged by the war and the earthquake of 1948. In 1959 and in the 1970s, the church was again restored. As of today, restoration is still ongoing because of the concern of the soft yellow sandstone used in the church that erodes easily. Aside from that, the Miyagao Church is truly an authentic Filipino church with its intricate traditional design and architecture. So that's it for the church. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share!